Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. If you are just seeing me for the first time, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and hit that notifications to be alerted when I post. So today we're gonna be talking about the essential needs of an engineering student. As you know, I study computer engineering in university. And I'm currently in my third year in Nigeria, so I believe I could actually share some of my tips that I've learned along the line. Engineering is not easy, guys. Engineering is not easy. Like I'm talking from my own perspective. I don't need to diss any of our courses or something. Like every course have their own, you know, like their setback. My first tip is going to be you need to have prior experience like in some like aspects if you're going to study engineering for example stuff like drawing and the advanced calculus that we're actually taking engineering classes for drawing now you need to actually add taking some uh, elementary classes basics on drawing on what you need like technical drawing maybe your secondary senior secondary and your Elementary is sharp. So you need to have actually taking this for example advanced calculus. If you did not take for that math, please. What are you looking for in engineering? I don't know, like you're looking behind like those courses basically mechanical brain advanced calculus. If you don't understand, you need to like go and start working hard. You need to like push yourself, push yourself so they can actually get to that point where you feel you are balanced and you can fit in wherever you're being thrown at because you're actually going to need to fall back on the basics no matter what all the time because as you as you keep pro progressing higher higher in your classes you need to actually still need to go back to those engineering drawing every engineering student in a university actually have to take that course like I can't even begin to my rate the stress of taking like you can't drain board up and down like if you don't have a clue what it was all about like I can there are lots of people who actually fell in this category. Like in my set when we're doing the drawing, they actually had friends like zero to no experience about drawing and then it in a way affected them. Like if you actually ask any of them today in a way it actually affected them because if they had actually had previous knowledge they might have actually have performed better who knows right so hope you learned something new so number two you have to learn adaptivity <laughs> adaptivity to stress like like stress is definitely an important thing in engineering like that is why it's called engineering like i've actually had that i don't know if i read it somewhere that yeah, engineering is like the toughest course is it toughest or stressful like, something like that something along the line of that though i'm not i'm not trying to argue for any point here no 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 like sometimes is it the 7 a.m classes like you are still up dozing when you are on your way to class. <laughs> no, God, you just have to get up from your bed. Or oh, like the six, the eight p.m. class that night. Why? God, engineering students, we actually know what we go through. You have to learn to adapt stress. If you can't, if you can't withstand that stress, believe me, you are not the right fit for engineering. You're not. Cause is it sparring during board? From lecture theater to lecture theater, classes to classes, that you can't withstand. Believe me, you're not fit for engineering. Some people actually have it easy anyway. Some people don't have it. That you know, they don't really know how to adapt to stress and they find themselves in the in the engineering field. So like, as me, you're in that kind of situation that you actually found yourself in engineering. You don't know how to adapt to stress. I think. Maybe you should actually share with someone what you actually feel you need help with. So, 
probably that person can assist you with that and then <sighs> it's hard you need to prioritize and plan you need to prioritize and plan because when you're doing like let's say 10 to 11 courses or 9 you need to prioritize and you want to read everything at the same time like before you know it the semester runs out and then exam period lecture period you start oh god how are we reading this how are we reading this if you don't prioritize and plan that will be your situation honestly like you need to prioritize and plan probably create a timetable at the beginning of the semester although <laughs> timetables are i don't know for me personally i create timetables but i don't follow them i don't follow them so like but you just have a plan if you want to read maybe set an hour goal to read per day one half of reading per day on a, a course or something or even if it's personal skills development just don't be lagging behind don't you can just sit, a, sit around sleeping playing games or something you need to be doing something like learning taking classes tutorial classes or those tutorial classes well yeah it's for some people though so like you need to plan prioritize don't take time is not enough because the it is actually enough because some people have actually passed through the same thing you're going through to the same process some people have so you need to plan prioritize and then you can achieve your goal if it's the icgpa <laughs> that you want to achieve like it's possible you just plan well the fourth thing is know your peers know your peers like don't just hang around people if you don't know them you need to actually know who they are the kind of things they do stuff like that so like there are three kinds of engineering students the first category they are the nerds they are very good they are just so good they need to just look at something just read it read it for like five to maybe one and a half and they get it so well you're like where have i been don't we have the same don't we have the same brain we totally do so how am i not getting this thing? so those are the nerds and then we have the mixed people that actually can fit in into the situation they can actually maybe know what is going on in a course actually read it and pass not just pass and understand and then they can actually when there's parties or extracurricular so these people they have it so easy for them like they can grasp anything like anything they learn any minute and at the same time when you are program conference they, they are also there they are just so balanced and they can fit in and we have the third category we call them the bosses this one's they are the flex flexing i remember flexing like 95 percent of the time they don't come for classes and they only show up for test exams and they expect to actually read and pass like this one's they are the bosses like they go themselves you know but believe me, if you're not in those classes, what do you think people that actually do the classes? What do you think they have to use? And but the thing is, people learn at different paces, and this is not actually an evaluation of whether this is bad or good. These are just the categories, guys. So know your peers, know the category that you actually fall in, so that it won't be these people that are actually going to drag you. Into something, you be like, oh god, I died now. Why did I? Why did I hang out with these people? Know your peers, know yourself. Then you can actually balance being an engineering student, and you won't have problems. What you can also do is, when you're studying, study using real life example to actually make it better understand. Because engineering is all about practical application. If you don't understand the practical, how do you want to apply the theory? Like, or if you don't understand the theory, how do you want to apply the practical? But then when you're actually saying something and then it is being illustrated some people actually have visual learning ability and lastly finally assignments are very important in engineering like you should not miss them assignments and class quizzes think from tests, all those stuff don't miss them like for assignments take it seriously because sometimes assignments actually fall back at tests if you don't do assignments and then you'll be complaining, you just need to actually do them, do those assignments. Like, even if you don't understand them, 
actually i'm not saying you should be doping or something you can't dope or so that's what most students do actually like but that's not a good practice anyway and so like if you're actually following these tips all you should do if you don't understand get someone to actually explain to you and yeah there's this thing called internet which is actually the platform now so like make use of it make use of it well like there are online classes like widespread categories lists of them that you can actually take to understand watch videos so you can actually understand what is actually going on in the assignments or classes instead of actually trying to look for someone that can explain to you because sometimes those people don't have time if you follow these tips i just highlighted for you guys if you have any problems or engineering students issues or challenges that you like to share or you need help with something you can actually put that down in the comment section down below i will answer or someone can also answer you if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to hit that like button and i will see you in my next video bye